A low fire hold is an important control on a boiler to prevent thermal shock. When we start up a boiler from cold, it's easy to get in a hurry and want to allow it to go straight to high fire, build steam, uh, get production back online. But unfortunately, that can really shorten the life of a boiler because the thermal stress of heating something up quickly is much greater than the thermal stress of heating something up slowly. So essentially, a low fire hold is a device designed to maintain the burner at a minimum input until we attain either a certain temperature or a certain pressure, which will then release the boiler to modulate and allow the boiler to continue and fire up and carry the load. If you ever have questions about how your boiler's wired or what the functions are um, as far as devices on it, um, wiring diagram or print is a great place to go. And what a low fire hold will look like on a print is a little oil can shape for a pressure switch or a little squiggle line for a temperature switch. And what we can see here is that essentially in the modulation circuit, those devices are just breaking the wire going back that would call for the mod motor to drive to the high fire position. A pressure based low fire hold is probably the most common type of low fire hold device that we see. Um, and the premise is that once we get a certain temperature on the boiler, um, we'll have a certain pressure and that will be indicated with a switch. That switch is going to inform the flame safeguard or the mod motor or release that circuit to modulation mode and, and let the firing rate go up. The drawback to using a pressure based low fire hold is that it can actually be fooled. If we have a low pressure boiler that doesn't have a non-return valve on top, or if we've got a leaking non-return valve on a boiler, it's easy for pressure to be on the boiler when there's really not any temperature on the boiler. So that may cause the boiler to come out of low fire before the boiler's really warmed up enough to warrant that. Regardless of whether you have a pressure or temperature based low fire hold, mechanism. Ultimately, once that circuit's completed, the boiler is going to go straight to high fire if there's demand. So it's actually a lot smarter for the life of your boiler when you're warming it up to simply put it in manual and keep it in the low fire position. Once we've attained a certain temperature or pressure of the boiler, then we can actually incrementally increase the firing rate as needed to satisfy demand. The benefit of that is we're not going from low fire straight to high fire. We don't run the risk of overshooting our temperature or pressure, and uh, we're still increasing the benefits of slowly warming up the boiler. So you wanna put it in manual and turn it to the minimum position for warm up, and then once you've attained a certain temperature, you can start walking up that firing rate until you pretty much merge with your system operating pressure or temperature.